What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time watching one of uh, my videos here, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're up to date with the new videos we have coming out. Right now we've been uploading Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday mornings. And uh, we have a ton of content on this channel. Uh, we This is essentially for coaches and personal trainers who want to be business owners, right? and you want to scale your business or you want to start your business. We have a ton of content. Um, what I will say before I dig into this video, because this is, in my opinion, the most important video I'm going to be posting in 2020. Uh, before I get there, if you haven't started your business yet, uh, go grab the ebook that I have on my website at buildmysportsbiz.com. That will help you get started. And the rest of this video will, will make a lot of sense. All right. Now, when I go through this piece by piece with you, I want you to be taking notes and I want you to be answering these questions that I'm going to be asking you, right? So number one, if I came to hang out with you right now, let's say I flew to whatever city you're in and you picked me up in your car and I look back in your back seat, is it clean or dirty, right? That's question number one. It's either going to be really clean or there's going to be crap back there. There's like Wendy's uh, french fry wrappers. <laughs> there's all this stuff. There's water bottles all around your car. What is back there, right? Is it clean or dirty? Now, if it's dirty, it's telling me you're probably disorganized with your business, right? If it's clean, that tells me you're pretty organized. Uh, and in regards to your business, you have your ducks in a row, right? It's pretty hard to find coaches who have dirty cars with organized businesses, right? Here's the other thing I wanted to ask you. With your clients that you're currently training right now, if you went out of town for a month, would your business fail or grow? right? Fail or grow? If, and that means if you went out of town for a month, are you still getting paid? All right. Or, or do, does the ship sink when you're not there? All right. That doesn't mean you, you have to have employees. I'm talking about if it's just you, all right. Are you sinking or swimming? All right. Answer that question. All right. Next question here. If you sat down with one of your clients that you're training, let's say they're nine years old, would you be able to teach them how your business works? Where you could leave for a month and they could operate what you do. Like, is it that simple? Like, do you have systems in place? Do you have procedures in place? Do you know how to get clients every month? Uh, you know, is everything ironed out? Like when you wake up in the morning, you know exactly what to do. So the answer, the answer is going to be yes or no. Like, could you do that? Could you sit down with someone who's younger that has no idea about business and would they be able to understand what you do? Right. I ask you that because uh, a couple of days ago, one of the kids that I work with, um, most or all kids that I work with have no idea that I, I help other coaches because I don't talk about that with them. <laughs> right. But one of the kids asked me, you know, what, you know, what else do I do? Um, and I told him within two minutes, he completely understands it. He's like, oh, that makes sense. So like when you explain things to people about your business, does it make sense? Can they get it in two seconds? Can a young person get it? If a young person can get it, then older people can absolutely get it, right? Now, why am I asking these questions? It's because however you're doing things right now, it's all based on habits. Like if your car's dirty, that's been a habit, right? If your car's clean, that's a habit. If your business is disorganized, that's a habit that you created from your personal life and it's bleeding into your business, right? If your business is really easy to explain, that means it's pretty organized, right? Makes sense. If you can teach it to someone, that's younger than you, that's nine, 10 years old and they get it, all right? 
that's a good indicator to me that you're probably good at sales because you can explain things in depth and you can do it quickly. People can understand. All right. Now, here's what happens though. If you want to grow your business and you want to have something that you do not have yet, right? And I know a lot of coaches are like, well, I want to make 10,000 a month. And then when they get there, they're like, oh, well, I want to make 20,000 a month. And then when they get there, they're like, oh, I want to make 40, right? But if the initial goal is to do something that you have not done, that means it's not going to be about the tactics. It's about changing the habits that you have, right? And that might be something you're unwilling to do, which I, I will tell you, most coaches out there are very disorganized. I know this. I talk to coaches every single day, Monday through Friday. Only two days I don't talk to coaches is on Saturday and Sunday when I'm chilling, right? Monday through Friday, I'm on the phone. I've talked to thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of coaches the last five years. And I know most coaches are disorganized. So when you become more organized, your business does better, right? And oftentimes that requires very little work. Like setting up a spreadsheet that takes 10 minutes, well, that could save you 100 hours next year of time, smart thing to do. Monitoring and understanding where your client's progress is throughout the year, so you could check that in two seconds, that's Good for your clients, it's good for you, gives you all the data of, of what you need and, and how you can better manage your clients. It's also gonna save you a lot of time. Streamlining every single payment and have that set up as a membership or a, a quarterly membership, monthly membership, annual membership. That stuff takes a little time on the front end. Once it's set up, it's gonna save you hundreds of hours of time and it's gonna help you become way more successful. So these are the little details. But it all starts with your personal life, right? It all starts with your personal life. How you are in business is how you are as a normal human being. This is why, I'll tell you, like when I actually spend time with coaches that are in our consulting program, when I see them face to face and I spend a day with them, I can tell how successful they are by what they're wearing and what time they get there. And like the little details of what they do before they even come see me. I can tell all those things. And how you are in your personal life is going to be exactly how you are in your business. And when you make little changes, you have lasting results. This is coming from someone who I, I know, I mean, this is just blunt. I know I was one of the most disorganized people in the world when I started my business, all right? And that was because I wasn't fully committed to my business. I was trying to be Mr. Entrepreneur, trying to do this, that, the other thing. Okay, so the more organized you are, the more disciplined you are, the better your business does. And this is why I'll tell you, if you don't have the thing that you want, if you want more clients, if you want to be the face of your town and, and have more influence over parents and kids, if you want kids to have better results in your program, if you want to make more money to provide for your family, so your, maybe your wife doesn't work anymore, or you're able to, to provide, to send your kids to private schools, or I, I don't care what you want to do with your money. It doesn't matter to me, but if, if your goal is to increase your finances and invest or do whatever, it doesn't matter. You have to change who you are as a human being, right? And here's the crazy thing. I could give you all the tactics on how to grow your business. I could give you the playbook. It'll have every X and O, do this, do this, do this, do this, and then do this. If you don't change, your habits, you will probably not get results. That's what I know a lot of people don't talk about, right? They think, oh, if I just have more information, I'll be able to get the results. That's actually not true, right? And here's how I know. 
There's people that go through my consulting program that are unbelievably organized, right? And within 30 days, they'll make some, some tweaks. And I've seen some coaches who within 30 days have done like 20 to 30 grand in addition to what they're doing, right? I've seen some people take 11 months to log into my program, right? Now, who's going to win? The organized person. They are on it. They know what they're doing. They know what they want. It's crystal clear. And then, then they just go make the little tweaks, right? It's harder for someone who's, who's disorganized. And that's my challenge to you. If you go back to the first couple of questions I asked at the beginning of this video, that's going to tell me a lot who you are, right? It's going to tell me who you are. Now, am I saying that I'm the most organized guru on the planet? No, I'm not a freaking guru. I'm a normal dude. I'm just like you, right? But I will tell you, I made a lot of changes over the past couple of years. And as I've made those changes, my business has gotten way better. So I'm telling you from personal experience, when I was disorganized, yeah, I could grow my business a little bit, but it was a grind. It was a struggle. It was frustrating. There's a lot of times people owe me money, right? Now that doesn't happen. Systems, processes, those things are in place, but it starts with the personal life, right? Everything that you do in business is going to come down to who you are as a human being, right? A lot of that's going to also come down to who you spend your time with. Like if you're, if you're hanging out with a bunch of jabronis all week, like your business is going to suck. If you're hanging out with a bunch of eagles all week, your business is going to thrive. How do I know that? Because I do that, right? I hang out with people who are so much further ahead of me. It's not even, it's not even funny. And every week I get to learn. Every week I get to get better, right? Every single day I get to improve on what I'm doing because I'm hanging out with people who are superior to me in business. Why? Because I want to improve. I want to get better. I put skin in the game. All right, put my own skin in the game, right? Not doing a bunch of stuff for free, okay? So what's the real message here? Well, here's what it is. Wherever you are now, you're there because you're supposed to be there. Those are the choices that you have made, All right? If you're working a nine to five, you chose to do that. No one forced you to do that. If you have a, a stressful business right now, you decided to make it that way. Right? You probably have a stressful personal life too. Right? If your business is really succeeding, that's something that you have decided to do. Right? You are either great at taking action and you're organized, or you're just like, you just have the ambition to, to really succeed. Right? And some people that get into this game that we're in, they get in being too unprepared, too disorganized. Uh, personal life is off the rails. Drinking every Friday and Saturday with their buddy old boys, right? Waking up on Sunday, hungover. Monday comes around, oh, I want to start my business again. Too late. You're going to run up against someone like me who is absolutely going to smash you. Right? And I mean that in the ruthless way possible. Like, you go up against someone who's more organized than you are in your city, they're going to dismantle you. Right? And I, I don't say this to be rude, but like, if you're in my city, in my sport, and you're not more organized than I am, I'm going to absolutely crush you. And there's going to be someone in your town who's going to do that to you. It's a business, right? We're not, we're not playing duck, duck, goose over here, right? This is a business. There's successful businesses. And then there's people in the middle of the pack. And then there's people at the bottom. Normally people in the middle of the pack and at the bottom are out in 12 months time because they're not going to be able to hack it. 
So this comes down to, again, like if I come hang out with you, who are you? What do you do? What are you doing during the day? How do you think? Who do you spend your time with? What's your car look like? It's got nothing to do with tactics. And I know that the, the majority of people who watch this video, they clicked out of it in the first two minutes. Because that's telling me they're stubborn. They're like, eh, now nah, my car is, I'll go clean it later. Bull crap. No, you're not. Right? No, you're not. I'll do it later. Procrastinating is probably the worst habit to have in business. And again, if you're a procrastinator in, in life, it's going to happen in your business. You cannot just turn into Superman when you flip the switch with your business. That does not happen. Right? This is what a lot of businesses fail to see. And this is why a lot of people fail because they're not willing to change. So this is my question for you. Are you willing to make a couple of tweaks? If you're organized, how can you become more organized? If you're disorganized, what do we need to do to get you to, to start taking this more seriously? All right? Because I'm not going to come knock on your door at night and say, hey, you need to go to bed. You got to wake up tomorrow at five in the morning. I'm not going to do that. Right? No one does that to me. My wife doesn't bang me on the head with a hammer in the morning and say, hey, Ben, you need to wake up. You got to go shoot these YouTube videos. No. I'm always up before she is. All right? I'm always in this office. That's my responsibility. Right? This office is always clean. Right? I don't just like clean up the office before I shoot these videos. Right? There's not like Miller Lite beer bottles down below me right now that I just scrape under the floor. <laughs> no. Right? It's cleaned up. It's going to make me feel good when I walk in here. Right? Have some pride. So that's it, guys. I hope this helps. Right? It's not going to always be about the tactics. Normally, it's not about the tactics. Tactics can be so important, though, if you're organized or if you're willing to be organized. This is why our program has helped a lot of coaches, right? In our mastermind program, right now we're doing three group coaching calls per month, right? We have our Facebook group, daily interaction. Whatever questions you have, you're going to get your questions answered by me. And also right now we have, at the point of doing this video, we have two different groups. We have 90 total coaches in both groups, right? You have access to everything in our members area that has all the tactics. In. I, I even have created mindset programs in there for coaches as well, because I know that's a very critical piece. You gotta have the right mindset to succeed. You gotta change who you are, right? And if you know you're like, man, I, I'm sick and tired of hearing about this program Ben keeps talking about, and I wanna check it out, go check it out, all right? All you have to do is text me at 210-960-5771. You shoot me a text there and I'll show you how you can look at it. I don't let anybody join my program. I am a picky snob, right? I am a huge snob when it comes to my program. My reputation's on the line. I don't just let anybody join the program. I've turned away so many people over the past uh, four years now since I've been running these types of programs because I know that they're not gonna do the work. I know that over a 20 minute phone call. I can tell by the questions I ask. What kind of person am I dealing with here? Right? It's not for everybody. Right? If I wanted to, I could have 2,000 people in that program right now charging $50 a month. I'm not going to do that. Right? I want to have something that has results. And I want you to join a community that has coaches that are like minded. They love helping kids, they want to grow their business, they want to have more impact in their area. Right? They want more freedom with their family. That's, that's what I'm after. Right? So if that's you, shoot me a text. I'm here to help out. I want to help you. We have the proven results already. Right? I let the results speak for our program. I don't need to yap on about it anymore. Right? You can go check out our website, click on Mastermind, or shoot me a text, and I'll walk you through how you can apply for it. That's it, guys. I'll see you soon. Be willing to make those changes we talked about. I promise you that makes a huge difference. See you later.